Uber driver killed a black woman, has now been arrested, tried to blame it on a mysterious fictional black person. This is a very sad story, put up the picture full mask. I'm taking you to Indiana. An Indiana Uber driver accused of violating, sexual violating and killing his female passenger has been arrested and there's more. The person, her name was Shanti Dixon. He told police an armed black male shot and killed her. That's what he said. Francisco Valadez was arrested in September, September 10th, and charged with murder. On September 8th, Dixon called an Uber to take her home after a shift, which was about 3.30 a.m. She never returned, and her concerned family tracked her phone to the woods behind her residence, where they made the horrifying discovery of what happened. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. According to court documents, Ms. Dixon had been dumped naked and was lying on her stomach. First responders pronounced her dead at the scene and it was later discovered that she had been shot in the head. Dixon's cell phones proved invaluable again as they provided the first clues about a suspect for detectives. That night, she carried two phones with her. They were both found near her body. Luckily, her mother knew the passcodes and authorities were able to review her last messages, which led them to the Uber driver. The two reportedly made one stop in his BMW before arriving at her home. Detectives located the address of the Uber driver and quickly caught up with him. During questioning, he fabricated an elaborate story about a black man and an armed robbery gone wrong, telling police an assailant came by, came up with his car, and decided to open fire. After police reportedly questioned his mother and seized evidence from his BMW, including the possible murder weapon, the suspect was brought to the station for further interrogation, where he continued to push the story of a black person along with another story. But he eventually cracked and confessed to the crime, police said. He allegedly admitted to violating Miss Dixon in the back of his car and becoming so enraged when she insulted his body that he pulled out his gun and shot her in the head. Police say he then dragged her out of his car and behind a barrier at the end of her dead end street where he has sex with her lifeless body. Thanks to the family's efforts to track down the cell phones and the detective work by police, the suspect is now in custody on felony murder with more charges likely to come from the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. This is so sad. This is so sad. You can't, you can't think of a scenario more just egregious than someone working hard, getting off at 3.30 a.m., calling an Uber because it's time to go home. And they are sexually violated. I think she likely fought back. And then she gets shot in the head and dumped. Because of the family having a close relationship with this young lady, not only did they know it was strange or odd for her not to check in with them, they also knew how to access her phones and her location because unfortunately that's required today. That's required today, especially, especially with women. Now, I'm waiting on Uber to say something. At this point, we've covered enough of these stories where there's there's a possibility, there's a possibility of some negligence connected obviously to Uber. Because how are these things continuing to happen by way of one company? And you have to question an individual who would do something this extreme under the disguise of the Uber app, right? Has he done it before? 
because there's a graduation typically with an mm. escalated crime like this. What if somebody else had this happen to them and they were embarrassed to report it? Or they were afraid because he took their ID? All this needs to be investigated now. Francesca, thoughts here? Yeah, I mean, Uber, I guess, seemed like a good idea if you weren't a cab driver and it didn't undermine your livelihood. Um, but the biggest reason why you wouldn't allow people to just get in a stranger's car is for safety reasons. Yeah. And the fact that Uber still, how many, a decade later, still has no plan to actually keep people safe. Oh, you can share your ride with somebody. Well, great. Well, they're going to be far away if you get or shot in the head. Like, what What are we doing here, people? And like, I'd like to say, okay, you could have a button with like a dial 911, but then I don't, I mean, getting the cops involved again, Doc, we've covered enough stories about cops and their negligence too. Yeah. So it's just, something needs to be done on the corporate level, but let's get down to like what happened here. This lock, this man up and throw away the key. And I rarely say that, but do that in this case. Um, this is femicide. What do we mean by femicide? Femicide means that someone was deliberately killed because of their gender, right? That she was killed because he desired her sexually, her, right? Which is, I mean, is, is, a, is a tool of violence. I mean, it, you don't even have to actually desire someone sexually. You could just be mad at someone. But she, she was uh, shot because she said something to him that offended him about his body, you just assaulted her, sir. And then, oh, had like is such a animal that he desecrated her body after he murdered her? I mean, goodbye. Goodbye, yeah, goodbye. forever. I don't care. Um, the real question is, how do we prevent other women like Shanti from being killed? And I will add another element to this, which is her employer has a responsibility to make sure she can get safely back home from her job if she's getting off a shift at three in the morning, okay? It is not safe to just be a woman walking around in the world at 3 a.m., I'm sorry. It is awesome to be a guy at that hour, but it is not okay to be a woman. So well, how, are her, how is her employer making sure that other workers can also get home safe? I concur, well said. We'll bring you updates as they come.